Part of this project, part of our watershed plan, is to remove the obsolete dams and create new habitat for native species like the hellbender. So removal of the Shoals Mill Dam, following hot on the heels of the 2021 removal of the Wards Mill Dam downstream is creating new pockets of hellbenders. So I'll put it to you like this. This dam is a barrier between a downstream population and a thriving upstream population of hellbenders. We started by moving hellbenders, aquatic salamanders, from below this dam to get them out of harm's way. We actually took them to a different site that we restored in 2021, the Ward Mill Dam Removal Project, and then the construction got underway. Um, the dam itself will take just a couple of days to remove, but the whole process will be a couple of weeks. Projects like these where we have multiple dam removals in the same watershed that really create that model for how to transform a watershed and restore it for community benefits, removing public safety risk from the environment, also supporting, of course, biodiversity and climate change. The benefits will be immediate and long term. So you'll immediately see, you know, cleaner, colder water, and you'll immediately see, you know, fish traveling up through this corridor. So this dam was a barrier to aquatic connectivity, but now fish, mussels, salamanders be able to move through this system freely, right? Fifteen hundred dams in Western North Carolina serving new, no purpose, and twenty-eight thousand statewide in the state of North Carolina. Dam removal is having a moment. So we're seeing more of these projects funded and approved. We're seeing real momentum in dam removal thanks to work of groups like American Rivers and Mountain True. But there are many of these on the landscape, and many more dams waiting to be removed.